Hello friends, today we are going to be take a look the error which is when you are trying to pushing your changes into master branch that time you are getting invalid username or password the error. Okay, this is authentication failed. How to resolve this issue? This is what today we are going to be discuss in this video. So come to the GitHub account. Okay, here click on this user icon. Go to settings. Scroll down. Here you can final the left side. You can final option. You can see developer settings, right? You can click on this. Here you can see the personal access token. Click on this arrow mark. Here you can see fine grainer tokens or tokens classic. Here you can go to tokens classic. Here you can see I could not find any token before I was generated. So I have to create a new one. So click on this generate new token. So again, you have to click on for the general use. So here you have to provide your password. Confirm. Here you can give this note. So here have to give it as uh, token. The expiration. So here you can select whether you want to 7 days or 30 days uh, or no expirations or custom whichever you want. So I have to give it this no expirations. In that case uh, the GitHub will warning you uh, it is not a recommendation for that information secure. So in that case you have to better you can choose 90 days. It is good to go with this long days durations. Here you can uh, select which are the things you have to provide the authentications so i'm going to be select this one repo and uh, admin if you want you can uh, check all those things it is your issue okay so user so this is notification this one it is not as required so whichever uh, important for maintaining the repo i have to give it all those things so copilot i didn't use that one so project admin admin so wherever you can find this admin that better you can check all those things okay that's it so here i am going to be click on generate token so here see the token has generated successfully okay you just copy this one go back to git bash okay here again you can try to uh, push your changes see you are getting again this failed to push okay so in that case what you have to do you have to set this command which is git remote set iphone url origin so here what i have to do you just copy and paste over here so here you can provide your username what is your username so go back to your github account here you can find this is the username which is Natasha Tech. So like this you can get your username in your GitHub account. Okay. So I just updated here. Natasha Tech. Okay. This is the token. So what is the token? So we have to copy it from here. Right. So again I am going to be copy. Notepad. I have to paste it. Okay. GitHub dot com username again it will be asking the username natasa take so what is the repository dot git which is the repo how to access so i'm going to be go to your repositories here this is was recently i created this uh, repo but this repo when i try to push my changes it was not allowing me so here you can you can take this repo or else what you have to do is just Literally, you can copy this remote add origin. Here you can find this is your repo name. Okay. Repository dot git. So you can see git remote set iphone url origin. Here you can provide username and a token. And again, you have to update the username and repo name. Okay. So you just copy this command. Go to git bash. Paste it. Press enter. So now you can try to push your changes. Let's see. What will happen so now i am given this git push iphone u origin master that is going to be update all the changes here see 
so before i tried uh, with main because directly i am copying this one git push iphone u origin main but that time what it is getting error failed to push some some refers okay because it's called as master right so you have to update as a master see in that case all the changes is updated successfully so after pushing your all the changes you can see the project has uploaded successfully inside repo go inside the project you can see all the changes is updated inside git demo sample project can find it here right see natasa tech git demo sample project inside repo you can find the kukumbai project demo file has uploaded successfully thank you guys